are the mass wyvern still playable or was that just a bit of a fluke that happy has now figured out i am very very curious to see what the two have in store for us here happy in the top right so in in the bottom left it's going to be a ghoul build opening once again if you're trying to play up against Mass Wyvern, then ghouls aren't that good. Because, of course, ghouls don't have web. Ghouls can't shoot up. So this is where normally the Ted Fiend build is much superior. But, of course, the Ted Fiend build tends to do a lot less well, less good, against the Headhunter build. Thank you, Naterion, with the resub, and also Ataria. Wait, is this a Blade Master build? Ah, no, never mind. For a second there, I thought it might be. But no, it's going to be Farseer, one grunt into Headhunters. And I think Cappy's going to be pretty satisfied with that. It really seems like the biggest weakness of the Ghoul build nowadays is the difficulty of dealing with Wyvern on Tier 2. Not something he has to worry about this time, apparently. Thank you, Alaska State Walker 3 team. A sub. Of course, the big strength of the ghoul build for the under early on is he can creep very quickly, especially if he's left alone. He's going to creep the merchant first. Wow. This seems like quite the risk, but it also seems like a very smart read by Happy. What this looks like is that Happy seems to be convinced that Soin always creeps in the beginning. Also, you have the Acolyte to confirm this, to see that the Farsi is creeping. And if the Farsi is creeping, then Happy can be... Somewhat greedy himself and take a big camp at the beginning, like we see here. Especially with Inner Fire. It's not an easy camp to take, but if you're left alone, you can creep this fully with just three ghouls. And uh, get the level 2 there right away. A player's are under attack. It also use, yep, there we see it, the Ritual Dagger. There's something Happy's been doing a lot lately. Sell the TP early, go for Ritual Dagger right away to be able to heal up fast. And the ghouls that were sent back can now creep the turtle. But the DK is trying to get the last hit over here. So far, this seems to be quite well thought out by Happy. But the big creep still goes to the Foss here. Oh, Foss here in danger of getting surrounded here. And Happy almost locks it in. Oh, just barely gets out. There's no narrow up in the base yet. The Foss here is not... In safety, just yet. Normally, Happy should close these surrounds. Oh, but the Fuss here also trying to get out the last little bit. Oh, but he is finally stuck. The Acolytes are safe. The coil secures it. That's the TP gone for a long, long time. Took some work, but he got it in the end. And with the Fuss here being so far away, Happy could even think about perhaps a lab creep. This could be a fast level 3 for him, potentially. Who's creeping over here? DK creeping over here. Happy's trying to get that level 3 in as quickly as he can. York tech is a bit faster here. The way he's used to seeing it. But we can also see the Farsi here getting a level 3 quite quickly. Use a lot of mana already, though. And against ghouls, normally you don't want to go level 2 wolves. Or rather, level 2 chain lightning. But then again, if you get the wolves so early, they're also very good for creeping. So, I think this game should probably be level 2 wolves, rather. And then try to get level 4 fast. Oh, Happy sending units out everywhere. He's looking for his opponent. He's looking for pickoffs. The ghouls going towards the green camp. They can get level 3 for the DK. 
Headhunters have to be pulled back, have to be saved. Don't want to lose too many headhunters, especially not against Happy in the early game. Oh, and now the DK finds headhunters, and this is the first stressful moment or so in block on both sides. Might be the first headhunter going down. The DK has a couple more coils that he can use here. Yep, that is probably at least one more. He's got more skellies he can use as well. And that's two headhunters going down. How much more does he want to commit, though? Farseer is looking for pickoffs himself. It's a lich second. But all the ghouls seem to be pretty healthy. It's level 2 chain lightning. He can go after the acolytes. That seems to be the goal now. And now the headhunter has fallen. This has been three headhunter kills. Wait, maybe even four. It may have even been four. The DK has one more coil that he can use here. And no acolytes have died yet. Wait, no, there's one here. Okay. One acolyte died. But a lot more headhunters had to pay the price in return. The Lich is now about to be ready. And when you lose this many headhunters early on, the problem is it's going to be very tough for the TC to start creeping on tier 2. Oh, nice block. But so in under a lot of pressure here early. This is not an easy start. Farsi is looking for more kills. Seems like he needs to get more acolytes. Maybe delay the tech more to keep this game even. But Happy's putting all of his ghouls on the left side here on purpose because this is where he's expecting the Farseer to approach from. And he's right in expecting precisely this. Speed scroll used. Farseer trying to get the connection. This is a huge moment. If Happy can save all these acolytes, this is going to be a big lead for him going to the later stages. So far, good juggling by the Acolytes, but one seems to be going down. Oh, or is it though? The Farseer not willing to re-engage. He's low mana, the wolves are being slowed down, and the DK and the Lich in the meantime find two headhunter kills. Yep, I didn't even catch them both. But two headhunters have fallen, and another one. Yikes. Sick, sick early game by Happy. I think this was seven headhunter kills. Happy proving again how damn good he is. He's got a super early attack upgrade, by the way. Good attack upgrade and armor upgrade. Coming very early on. And the TC hasn't crept anything yet. This experience here is just from Skellies. So it needs a big play. He's a big creep or something. A player's forces are under attack. Which gets a fast level two. Not going Frost Armor, but rather Dark Ritual. Makes sense with ghouls. Oh, one Acolyte did die, by the way. And another one falls. Okay. So in finding his way back into the series, perhaps. But he was punished quite heavily, so I'm not ready to say that he's got the lead here, by any means. I'm going to compare the gold mines in a moment to see how much... Mining time was missed out on. Should be quite a bit, honestly. But the Berserker upgrade is finally finished. Shadowhunter is going to join. And Happy is quite broke here with all the mining time that was missing. Alright, Akhtar is going to jump back into the mine and we compare. Whoa! Okay, there's a lot more gold missing than I thought it would be. 800 gold difference in the gold mines. Plus the two Akas had to be remade, so almost a thousand gold. Okay, I kind of didn't expect it to be that much. But Happy also killed a ton of headhunters, of course, in the early game. And that's a fast level 3 Lich. Not even 10 minutes into the game, Lich already level 3, and he's full mana. And now we got the Dark Ranger joining. Level 1 TC. Oh, he's level 2 now. Oh, big last hit right here. Who's gonna get it? 
Happy picks up experience and item. Helm of Valor for the Dark Ranger is okay. Gonna cost him one ghoul. Did quite a bit of damage on all the ghouls. Not a good position to engage for Happy. All the ghouls quite hurt. TC's ready for the stomp. But the heroes for Happy are looking not bad at all. DK about to get level 4. Which of course already level 3. More ghouls joining from the main base. Happy at 50 supply, same for Soen. But Soen needs level 3 TC ASAP. And he also kind of needs an invuln to break through the first silence. Oh. Almost was the ghoul to creeping. But not quite. Next big item here, what's it gonna be? TC got the big mana potion. Very nice. Happy, full of accuracy. Normally very good. With ghouls, not so much. Maybe for the heroes and the destroyer it's still worth it. Yeah, I guess it's still worth it. Still a bit of bonus damage. The main base for Stone, by the way, doesn't have reinforced defenses yet. Oh, this could be a huge attack for Happy if he tries to go for the burrows here. Picks up a heal scroll as well. Lots of skellies. It's the perfect time to push into the main base. The TP was rebought for Soen. Very important. And here goes Happy. Plays a sentry ward. Goes for the shop right away. Not the burrows at the start. Supply still dead even. The other destroyer is being morphed. A lot of damage against the burrows. This one's gonna fall. Gonna supply block him right away. TC. Stomp. Where's it gonna go? Oh, using the bag, didn't realize where the TC was positioned. <laughs> he used the hex on the Dark Ranger, but the stomp landed absolutely nowhere. Now he can still go for the next silence. Oh, but that's a money stomp. But so many units have gone down already. Chain Lightning follow up. Heal Scroll was already committed. The ghouls mostly disappearing, but also the Headhunters going down fast. And the destroyers, there's nothing left seemingly to counter them. Three destroyers up in the air. Not enough anti air against them. More and more Berserkers are falling, and so it has to tap out. GG. And the first map goes to Happy. Pretty fun game. Uh, Happy with insane kills in the early game. So many Headhunters killed. It seemed like the game may have been over there already, but actually, Soin was able to slow down the mining immensely for Happy as well. It kept the game kind of even. Yeah, but you gotta take that first fight better. The Stomp can't just whiff like that. The first couple of seconds are so important, where the Nova lands, how quick the units die, the skelly conversion, the stomp, the invuls. Gotta be really sharp there. And so in. Not quite having the defense he wanted. All right, map number two, going to be Autumn Leaves. And we jump in. Happy again with the same opening. On this map, I feel like Wyvern could be really strong. Because it's very hard for the DK to get level 3 if he's getting harassed. But someone again, not playing the Wyvern build. This map can also be quite good for a Blade Master. But most orcs don't seem to be too much of a fan of the Blade in this matchup nowadays. War mill again. Yep. All right. Farseer, Grunt, Headhunter. Same opening here as well for the Orc. Also for Happy. Happy wants to confirm what build it is. I think in the past, sometimes he would skip the Scout Acolyte, right? 
when he was still always sure it's going to be fast yet on Earth. But nowadays, with the Wyvern and all that, it is quite valuable to scout things early. And I guess if you see the Wyvern build early, <clears throat> you can just fast expand. So I think this is the best way to go for Undead nowadays. Play Ghoul build, but scout. And if you see Mass Wyvern, which of course means fast tech and no barracks, um, then you can just fast expand. Because yeah, the fast year with Wolf Harass is good, kind of, early. But it's not as good as it would be with Headhunters. Our player's forces are under attack. Happy sells the TP again. That's also something he's been doing. A lot of lately. And again, he sees that Soin's gonna be creeping. So this is Soin's new early game approach. He wants to be creeping at the start. He doesn't just want to harass right away. So as a response, Happy again goes for the greedy camp first. Where he can't be punished. Yeah, I feel Happy is making very smart strategic adjustments. Good scouting. Good reactions. Good plays. Arceus shows up, but without Chain Lightning, there should be zero hope of getting this last hit. So DK picks it up, gets level 2, and double circlet, and that is very good. And right away, the aura is available. And that makes things for the Headhunters a bit scary. They could get surrounded and killed quite easily. Yeah, very smart adjustment by Happy. If you just start off with the green camp here, not only does that mean you don't get level 2, but it also means following up to level 3 is going to be quite difficult. But now, since he got the shop creep first, getting level 3 actually shouldn't be too hard for him. This green into natural would do it for a fast level 3. He still has lots of mana. Is he going for a telestar? Oh, he is. Interesting. Claws as well. Oh my god. You can also steal this item. Well, if he has inventory space. Our player's forces are under attack. Kind of surprised he didn't just creep this camp. This camp would have been level three. So we're now also able to follow up with creeping very nicely. He's going to pick up a fast level 3, just as Happy. But I think Happy is going to be the one who will be more satisfied with this outcome. Alright, is it Acolyte hunting time again? It might be. Oh, good Skelly Scout. Happy sees where the Fasir is. DK has plus 15 damage right now. Not bad. All right, and here we go. Into the main base, but Happy saw this coming a mile away. The Fossier might get surrounded here. Those coils hurt. Dude, look at the rectics. Lol. It's gonna be a TP forced. Happy just has to send something to the lab, which I guess the ghoul is gonna be doing. At least all the headhunters survive, though. Okay, so he needs to be fast with the reaction here. And he is. TP out, saves the Foss here. But this DK is still looking for some trouble. He's got three coils ready, at least. Could go for a Dark Ranger. But no, he's gonna wait for the Lich once more. And the Ghoul is on a mission. Trying to find the Orc. And we can see the orc is sitting very defensively in the main base. Shadowhunter second this time. This means defending against the harass should be a lot easier. Oh, no hex. What? Okay, misses out on one kill there. Alright, Farseer again on an important mission. Ideally, he would love to kill two acolytes here. But Happy already saw this play on map one. He's probably considering it again for map two. 
Oh, I like the Wand of Illusion. I'm gonna uh, take the attention of the Slow Tower. But the Ghoul's also coming out. The real Farseer has been revealed. We we'll see a Staff Home. Farseer doesn't have a TP, by the way. But he does have a Speed Scroll. And gets one Acolyte here for his troubles. But might die. Oh! Yes, he does die. There's gonna be quite a bit of gold lost from the Acolyte going down, but the Farseer kill also a big deal, of course. But the Shadowner in the meantime could creep up to level 2, so I, I think this still favors Soen a bit. Also because his tech is about to be ready. Oh, look at that, though. So I'm going for a fast red camp creep. That's kind of cool. It's going to be a fast level 3 shot on it this time. Happy picks up the item here. Book of the Dead it can be very good in the right scenario. And power creeping here in the middle. Takes a while to take out the camp. Find level 3 for the shadow. Cloak of Flames could be really good for the TC. Whom we should be seeing later. Happy finds the Scourge Bonnet. I think that's really good, right? With upgraded Frenzy Ghouls. This should be really nice. And we have a sixth Acolyte. Oh no, wait, that's the replacement Acolyte, of course. And we compare the gold mines again. It's a 400 gold difference this time. Plus Acolyte. That's decent. But also the TC getting slowed down here a bit behind the Foss here. Supply block also. A little bit. And Ghoul Frenzy about to be ready. Destroyer form coming as well. Lich this time not quite as quickly on level 3, but still level 4 and level 3 close around the corner. Mana potion. There we go. That's a possibly game winning item that Happy was hoping for. Creeping the red camp with frenzy ghouls isn't that easy though. Dark Ranger joins. He's been giving the slippers. Happy holding on to all the small items. The gauntlets, the slippers. He appreciates them all. DK, quite low mana, but of course has the big mana potion still. This could be a creep tech opportunity for Soen. Happy here, not in the best position. Gonna use the Nova to get the last hit. The ghouls, though, still all survive, of course, very slow. Uh, very fast, I mean. Happy now almost has a double level up. Lich gets the level 3 right here. DK almost got the level 4, and he still got the Book of the Dead ready and the heal scroll. Oh, but also scroll popped on the orc side. Trying to go for the DK right away, but there's a silence. No stomp from the TC. Happy trying to disengage. I think nothing has died here. Amazingly. Scroll the beast lasts for 45 seconds. That's not too much longer. Destroyer above the trees, dispelling more and more. Happy with a clean disengage. So he wants to get the red camp though for his efforts. Dark Ranger taking quite some damage here as well. Oh. Oops. Camera. Scroll the Beast about to run out. Happy knows this. And more Dispel. As well. Very nice play so far by Happy, we gotta say. Trying to get another item. Invo Potion. For the Lich. He's got double heal scroll as well. Happy looking for the perfect opportunity to strike. Oh, and he's got the flank! Hits the Berserkers right away. Good heal wave delays. They're falling. DC is silenced. Book of the Dead is summoned. The Orc army seems to be pinned here against the trees. Foil saving the ghouls. Nova's hitting the headhunters, and the damage is immense. TC can finally end the stomp, but it wasn't even that good. And we had a heal scroll against it as well. The second heal scroll available. Big mana potion was consumed. The ghouls being saved one after the next. The ghouls here at 1 1. Surprisingly strong. 
Also, they have the Aura, of course. Dark Ranger now at level 2. She's got the Black Arrow. The TC is only level 1. His impact hardly even felt here. Nova hits once more. That was the last one. The Lich now out of mana, but he's done his job. More skellies coming in. More units being killed. And the Berserkers dwindling one by one. Happy finds the target again, ignoring the heroes for the longest time. But it took out the army in the meanwhile. And that is GG once more. And the 2-0 lead for Happy. Happy again, showing very impressively how it is done. How Undead is supposed to play against Orc. Beautiful disengage there as well. Kind of baiting the Scroll of the Beast and then running away with a good silence, with good Destroyer Dispel. Very impressive showing. Like I mentioned earlier, Happy the only player who has not lost a series yet in the Dobie Ancient of Wonders Cup. And for the next map, we're going to go into Twisted Meadows, which uh, is always one of my favorites. This used to be considered a really, really, really good map for Orc, especially because Blade Master Triple Hero is so strong here. Soin at times has a really strong Blade Master himself, so I would love to see the Blade Master opening right here. I feel like Fossier Headhunter, as strong as it is, it just doesn't seem like it works out against Happy. It seems like Happy has just downloaded all the plans against the Fossey Hunters. And normally gets rid of them pretty easily. So it also has the best spawn for a Blade Master play. Of course, on this map, the Blade Master can try to creep the rock golem early. At the very beginning, and the top left position is the best for exactly this. I would love to see Blade Master right here. Oh, wait. He's not making a barracks? Oh, no. Okay, now he is. Well, War Mill and then barracks. No Blade Master. Still no Blade Master. DK Google built by Happy once more. He knows where Soin is spawning. Here on the new Twisted Metals version, it is always cross spawn. Which made the map a lot better. I can also understand why Soin doesn't want to go for the Rock Golem pull early. It's pretty easy for Under to uh, prevent, honestly. Just with a Scout Acolyte, you can mess up that whole pull. If the Orc invests the time and takes up the Scout Acolyte, he can still try to go for it, but that slows you down quite a bit. At which point the DK may show up to harass. Happy Scout the hero. He sold the Fasir. And again, he's going to respond with creeping of his own, I would imagine. And that also means that Happy already knows that the late game is going to belong to him. When there's a Blade Master on the enemy side, the late game oftentimes goes to the Orc, but the fast here is going to uh, fall off quite immensely, as we all know. Oh, fast here trying to steal the item. Nappy unwilling to even use the coil here to heal up. Wants to have them ready as well for the ghouls. And Happy gets the full experience from the first camp. At least, though, it should be a faster tech for Soin. Quite a bit faster, in fact, it seems like. And again, the Ritual Dagger. Happy's new best friend, it seems like. He was very hesitant to make use of this item for a long time, but over the last couple of weeks, we've seen this a ton from Happy. Happy. 
Shouldn't leave the main base without red or necromancy, though. Seems like a small mistake there by the Russian. Very important last hits. Very important last hits. Happy gets it again. Leaves no question today here who is looking better so far. And all the ghouls also save the DK, not panicking, not overusing the coils. This is the creep that carries the item here. The level 3 null brute. Quite hurt already. Of course, he doesn't have heal selves. It's going to take him still a while to heal up. Well, the shop is actually finished. And get them now from the main. And Happy is looking for some kills. Good sidesteps on the headhunters. Happy, though, locks it in as always. Still has the ritual dagger, by the way. Oh! Lose one ghoul. First mistake by Happy. That was kind of unnecessary. Trying to lock in the next round, though. So in attempting to prevent it as best he can. Oh, Fasir. Needs to be careful here himself. Close to kill threshold range. A lot of units in trouble here. All of a sudden, the ghouls are still chasing from the other side. This means this headhunter is certainly dead. Oh, or is it? Yep, it is. One more coil. We'll do it. Farsi can finally heal up with the salves. He's going Shadowhunter second again. There's still an item over here to be picked up. I'm not quite sure what it is. Happy going for the... Is he going for Dark Ranger? Yes, he is. Dark Ranger second. This means he can creep up a lot more easily here now in the mid game. Tier 3 coming as well. Slaughterhouse soon to be added. Again, it's the orc with a faster tech. But as long as Happy doesn't lose enough units here on Tier 2, I would say he's in a great position once more. Thank you, Crewman, Walker 3 with the resub. And Kefcel as well. Thank you. we go, Ritual Dagger. Once Used once more, of course, also great synergy here with the Dark Ranger. Double Mantle, gonna be amazing for the Lich later on. And Happy is continuing to look really good. Really good here in these games. And again, we see early upgrades for the Ghouls. That fast 1-1 one, one is so cost-efficient. Happy looking for the creep jack here. We'll be able to force the TP even without statues, even without tier three. Normally, this is not considered the unit's strongest point, but the positioning there was pretty detrimental to Soin, I suppose. Of course, the flute is wonderful. Lots of, lots and lots of bonus damage on the orc side. Scourge Bone Chimes, a lot less so for Happy. We have Lionhorn, also always quite good. Thank you, Aeroplane Blows, with the 89 month resub. Says the big 100 is slowly approaching. Keep up all the good work. Always good to enjoy some Warcraft 3 action during work. Indeed. Thank you, thank you, man. Is it time for the red camp? Oh, yes, it is. Could use the silence here to creep this more easily. But doesn't even have to. A lot of sick items from this camp. Pendant of Energy being the best, probably. No, wait, Staff of Silence is the best. Staff of Silence is definitely the best. But here, Pendant of Mana also very good. Lich coming. 
TC also. Is Sowing gonna try to be greedy? Is he gonna try to play a tiny Great Hall? It's quite risky, but you can do it. Happy scouting for exactly this. He's got skellies out and about. And here we got the ledge. Gonna pick up the orb right away. Good levels on Happy. DK and Dark Ranger. Both close to the level up. As you may have noticed, all these games, Happy has a good early game, and then on tier 3 is always close to double level up. DK4 and second tier on level 3, and it's always a big power spike. Heal scroll for Happy, and off we go. TC needs some more levels. Desperately, there's of course the big problem playing TC third. Tends to be underleveled. Cat Guys Gem of Health is okay. Honestly, that it could have been a lot better items. Normally, Happy always ignores the enemy heroes at the beginning and always goes for the Berserkers. First Berserker goes down, and that's the level 3! Perfectly enough for the Dark Ranger level 3. It's gonna be one more Berserker going down. Two Berserkers fall right away before the fight has really even started. And the Speed Scroll also about to run out. Coil Nova aggressively coming in once again. There's a silence preventing the healing. Heal scroll used on Happy's side. He did not lose a single ghoul here yet. In the early game he did, but no ghouls going down here. Happy again looking masterful. Another DK almost level 4. Gonna pick up another item here. Pendant of energy. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, can you imagine the value on mana pots? Mana pots have double value if he drops these items. Pretty sick, but he doesn't have mana pots yet, but should probably add some later. Next item for Happy. Flew for accuracy again for his ghouls. Not too helpful but for the heroes. It is, I guess. And that is DK level 4. Lich level 2. Happy getting stronger and stronger. Going for a second crypt as well. Wants to be able to mass. Uh, reinforce with mass ghouls. Soen has some pretty good levels now as well, though. Level 3 TC acquired. Finally, we have the level 2 Stomp. Very, very important. Happy continues to scout for these tiny Great Hall plays. You never know where they're going to come from. Level 2 Lich with 30 intelligence. Thanks to lots of bonus intelligence being found earlier. Begin with potion given, given over. So I'm going to be pushed into the main base here soon. He's got the TP that he's going to need. Happy also bought a new TP. Again, continues to scout everywhere for the expansions. I feel like Happy could be the one to ex expand, actually. Alright, here we go. Shop taken out instantly. This doesn't take much doing. Wait, Happy has three armor upgrades. What? 12 minutes in, three armor upgrades already. Dark Ranger hexed. The destroyer gonna go down right away. Not enough, fast enough with the dispel. Oh no, it is! There we see the dispel coming in. The Dark Ranger side is not gonna be used yet. The TC trying to land the perfect best stomp he can. It's very tanky, but doesn't have that much mana. Some ghouls are going down, but also Skelly's soaking up a lot of the damage. And Happy's heroes are still very scary remaining on the field. He's got so much mana, of course, with all the items he found earlier. In what potion use? Break through the side of the TC. Lands a good stomp, and quite a few ghouls have been killed. Three armor upgrades. This is 7.5 armor on the ghouls. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've ever seen that before. And it helped them to survive longer, but now most ghouls have fallen. As the fastest you in trouble next, Coil Nova right clicks. Oh, when he dies! Shortly before getting to safety. But was there really safety? I don't know. The shop was taken out early. Happy once again with a great early game, good mid game creep follow up. And then he goes for one big attack, and that attack is enough to win. Happy up now by 3-0, and he looks utterly 
convincing doing so. <clears throat> so, and seems a bit chanceless today. Focus and Len found a way to beat Happy. That was the mass wyvern play. But I guess Happy has just figured that out by now as well. And, well, a rough day for Soen. So far, none of its attempts have worked. Happy one step away from another W. Happy, in fact, has only lost nine maps so far this whole tournament series. Which puts him quite far ahead of everyone else. Happy now almost guaranteed to have eight wins after today. And on the last play day, at the very last match, he's going to face 1 2 0, who may be the second highest in the standings. All right. We are waiting for Soen at the moment. <sighs> He's trying to reset, gather his thoughts, try to find the answer. How the hell do you beat this guy? It's a tough question. Not many can do it. Happy has been standing at the top of the ELO rankings globally for such a long time. He's going to get in another W today. The Orcs had a bit of a glimmer of hope in the Ted Cup 11 when Happy was beaten by the Wyvern play. But like I said, I think Happy just figured it out by now. There are obviously lots of counters to the Wyvern play. That day he was just a bit stubborn. He just kept on playing the same stuff. Kept on losing with it. But today he's certainly not losing. Not yet. Not a single map Happy has given up today. So we'll try to change that now for map 4. We're going to Tudrock. One of the most old school maps we have in the pool. This is also a map that can be great for Blade Master. But I, I'm not sure if Soen actually wants to try the blade. In my estimation, I still feel like Blade is one of the best weapons against Happy. But the orcs rarely seem to think so nowadays. But let's see what we get here. This map certainly excellent for ghoul creeping. Super easy level 2 for the undead if he goes double green. As a straight headhunter build once again. Some time ago, Soen played a little bit of Blade Master first into headhunters, which sometimes looked good, but it always seemed a bit iffy, a bit unreliable. The Fossier, as problematic he is in the late game, as weak as he is in the late game, he's still always a staple early, one of the very best early game heroes in the game. But Happy doesn't have that issue. He doesn't have to choose between a good or a bad late game hero. DK will always be great in the late game, but also pretty good in the early game. One of the big strengths for the undead race. So, is there any way for the orc to prevent level 2 DK? Probably not, right? Should be creeping this green camp first. 
On this map, if you see that the fast here is creeping, I think the undead can't really go for a greedy camp. The shop's too hard, the gold mine's too hard. You could try this camp, maybe, but it's not like even this is so extremely rewarding. Yeah, so Happy just gonna go for the greens. He's tanking all the damage from the DK because he knows he's got the ritual dagger to heal with, if necessary. Also, having more inventory space on a map like Turtle Rock can be quite good. You can pick up a lot of items here early on TR from these ogres and the turtles. I like turtles. Gloves, slippers. Oh, big last hit. Fosio has the opportunity to get this one, maybe, but... Doesn't quite manage. Headhunters being kept very far back. You can see Stone's respect for Happy right here. Headhunters, headhunters are uh, half a map away from the Ghouls. I guess they're afraid. Getting surrounded. Oh, but now they're looking for their opportunity. It's Skelly scouting always by Happy, always trying to figure out where the opponent is. Double Slipper is going to be really good for the Dark Ranger later. This may trigger a Dark Ranger second. Oh, one ghoul is going to go down though. Happy trying to find the return kill. Loses the next ghoul as well. Wow. It's kind of unheard of for Happy. Not the best control for once by Happy. Cost him two ghouls here. He's gonna get only one headhunter in return. And now Stone with his two kills feeling very confident. Gonna creep the red camp right away with only four headhunters. With a wolves resummon available, that should be doable. But Happy also looking for more items and more experience. Oh, the Magi for the fast here, not bad at all. Well, I suppose he rather wanted an aura. This is level 3, I wonder. Ghoul's creeping here, but it should be level 3, right? Yeah. This should be level 3. Once again, excellent creeping for Happy. And again, he's got the Ritual Dagger to heal up here shortly after finishing this camp. And there we see. Nicely healing up now. Could be the perfect moment for a Dark Ranger second. Fasir also got the level 3. It seems like the ghoul is on the way to invite the lady to the party. There she is. Dark Ranger says hello. And so on says hello in the Undead main base. Happy not responding for a second there. The Chain Lightning could be quite good against the ghouls. Takes out one right away. It's gonna be a lot of ghoul kills. Oh, this is a cool play. That we see orcs go for very rarely. There's gonna be at least two ghouls being taken out here. Chain lightning committed. So this is a total of three ghouls killed so far this game. This was the fourth one. The fifth one will not follow. Kind of close though. Okay, so it was two headhunters lost for two ghouls killed maybe? And this Dark Ranger is going to be super decked out. Oh my god, look at that, dude. Double slippers and double gloves right away. Especially once she gets level 3, she's going to have a lot of DPS to offer. Talisman of Evasion, pretty bad. One of the best, or one of the worst, I mean, items from this camp. Same item also on the orc side. With the Dark Ranger second and the skellies here, Happy can creep a lot. Even without any ghouls. Just the skellies are good enough. But with his headhunter army, so it is certainly creeping faster. By a decent margin. But 
quite happy now bringing the ghouls out again. And the tier 3 tech is... immense. The lead is immense this time for Soen. If he knew exactly Happy's tech timing, he could just go for a tiny Great Hall right now. But of course, he doesn't have the luxury that we have of just being able to see that so easily. Leave experience here for the Dark Ranger, getting closer to three. One of mana stealing, not bad for the DK. Happy scouts with a skelly. Could try to be aggressive against this, or just keep creeping himself, because he knows he's safe to creep this camp right here. So that's what he does. Takes a bit of work here, and a bit of micro to creep this camp, but he will get it in the end. And of course, in the end, you get the heal awards. Or the rune of healing, as it's called. And it's a fast level 4 Fasir. Shadowhunter also about to be level 3. Not bad at all. Happy creeping with his low ghoul forces still always takes a little while. Tier 3 is finished. Lich is coming. Frenzy. And Destroyer form should be added in a moment. The TC... Wait, where's the TC? There he is. Oh, the TC is already out. That's pretty nice. But no tiny great hall attempt here this time by Soen. Instead it might be happy with a possible expansion play. Alright, here we go. Dark Ranger level 3 at long last. Seemed like this took quite a while. This is a big upgrade. A player's forces are under attack. Happy again going for 1-1 one, one early. And trying to expand as well. This takes a lot of lumber for him. But he's got, of course, lots of ghouls in the main base. Not that many ghouls, though, right? Four in the main, three with the army. So that's seven ghouls total. Is not exactly the most. Pattern of energy was a good find there. And Happy again has the levels. Note once more, level four and three are always available early. For Happy. Whoa. The TC crept incredibly fast. Super quick level 3, already has level 2 stomp, and this time, by the way, Soen not going for a beastiary for quite some time. Just mass, mass berserkers with two upgrades now. Elm of Valor for the Dog Ranger. She is very strong. Unlike the Lich, who doesn't really have that much in terms of DPS. Dude, look at the TC. Three and a half already. Pretty crazy. One more camp to be taken here. This could be another item for the Lich, like Claws or such. Maybe even level 2. Yeah, should be level 2. That's the face again. Alright. The third pair. And a lot of skellies. This would be the perfect time to force a fight right now for Happy. He's got so many skeletons. He's also got an expansion fully mining that Soen didn't scout for. Big mistake by Soen, honestly. He's got the level 2 wolves. They're so good at scouting. They didn't consider this weird expansion timing. I guess we can't blame him too much for this. Almost nobody expands at these times. But Happy did. And he's threatening a push into the burrows once again. Getting slowed down by the peon here, of all things. And now Happy must know that Soen has reacted. Soen with strong hero levels here. 4-3-3. And an invuln on the TC. Very important. Skellies are about to run out. This could be a good fight for Soen. Happy doesn't have a TP. But he has a speed scroll. And again, two more armor upgrades on the ghouls. No third armor upgrade this time. At least not yet. More skellies, more statues. Or ghouls, rather. I think someone just completely doesn't know about this expansion. Someone's got the supply lead right now. The skellies are gone right now. This will be the perfect time to take a fight for Soen. Happy's trying to find more creep camps. 
finds a ghoul here as well. Or a wolf, I should rather say. Did Soin figure it out? Did he realize that the expansion is down here? Or oh, the second crypt finishing here for Happy is also such a big deal. He can resupply with ghouls so fast now, all the time. Soin knows now. And here we go. Mass ghoul production coming in. Also costs no lumber, of course. All right, first couple of seconds of the fight are going to be very important once again. Are we going to see Hex on the Dark Ranger? Yes, indeed. No silence coming in against the ghouls. The, oh my god, the Berserker backline is huge. So much damage from the Berserkers. Scroll the Beast pop by Happy. Trying to run away from the TC as well. Good splitting. Beautiful splitting by Soen. Minimizing the losses so far. The ghouls have taken a lot of damage. And all the ghouls are about to die. Heal scroll missing on Happy. He doesn't have, have enough heal scrolls here. Not having a shot at the expansion. Perhaps a mistake. The ghoul stow still alive for a little bit longer, but perhaps for not too much longer. Happy losing lots of ghouls right here. Silence as well, the Shadowhunter Invo Potion transferred with that, the Shadow survives. The statue is also being threatened, but of course Happy has super fast reinforcements from the main base. Lich in trouble now, there's no coil when the DK is stunned. Oh, and there's the Hex and the right clicks, and the Lich goes down. Dark Ranger hits level 4, big level up for her, but so ends. Timing looked really strong here. Three one upgrades on the Berserker. So much DPS from the backline. Supply is very even still. One more statue is going to go down. The Shadow Honor finds the right clicks. Mana on the Orc side though. Very low. Happy knows this. This is a big weakness now for the Orc. But he gets another kill. The level 2 aura on the TC. So strong. Shadow Hunter though. No heal wave at the moment. Science comes in. Breaks through it with the Invo Potion. The Destroyer. Goes down. Level 5 Farseer. Was that Chain Lightning level 3? I think it was. Everything here is so super hurt. The Lich in trouble again. Happy with the Evil Potion transfer. Last second. <sighs> Everything here close to falling. Especially the Lich. That might be the most important target. Happy trying to fall back into the main base. He needs some healing. In the meantime, Wolves at the expansion have taken out quite a few of the Acolytes. And more Ghouls are falling. The concern here for the Orc is he's running out of mana. He's got one heal wave left and one stomp. And that's going to be it for quite some time. Mana potion along with the pendant by the DK. So he's got a supply lead. But fighting on Blight might make that not as relevant perhaps. Acolytes almost all taken out. Happy still has two statues. No wolves here in the mix. There's only one chain lightning, one heal wave, one stomp. That's it. Trying to get the Honda Gold Mine. Does he have the damage for it? No, he's walking around. If he had just right clicked and focused it, maybe it would have been enough. But it's hard to say. And Happy's still mining. Partly mining. Trying to get to the shop to pick up the next item. The Invo Potions here are a big deal. Also, the Heal Scrolls. Org heroes are super high. Five, four, four. Goes for the Invo and the Heal Scroll. It also means the TC can't get an Invo to break the silence. But the clarities running right now are a big deal for Soin. Happy still broke. Statue need to work overtime here. The Lich not being level 3 yet is definitely a concern. The hero focus by Soin could be super strong. Ensnare, target fire, chain lightning and stomp. Remember it's level 3 chain lightning. And a well timed hex here would also make a big difference. Happy now producing with everything he has again. But he doesn't have a shop at the expansion, which could have been a big help. Chain Lightning to start things off. Signs of the TC right away. Remember, he can't break out of it. One Berserker goes down right away, but good usage also of uh, the Berserk. Saving quite a few of them. Good splits by Stone running to the back. TC lands the stomp. But Happy doesn't allow for the big stomp to be coming in just yet. Shadowhunter, far forward, in trouble. Invo Potion on the DK. Maybe a bit of a misclick. Coil once more, another Berserker falls, but Happy has lost so many units. No ghouls left at all. And Lich not quite level 3 yet, needs a little bit more. Wolves summoned again. Dark Ranger, super low, but there is one more coil that is being used. Oh, Dark Ranger might be going down now. Coil is not ready yet, but now it is! Lich got the level 3 as well. Now we have the level 2 Nova, but not too much mana to be used at the moment. Destroyer is now being morphed. Lich 
Almost going down. <sighs> Super close. Last second save on the Lich Happy. Trying to retreat back to the main base to get back to his potions. The Kodo Beast in front. Ready to block. If Lich falls here, that could be the game. This spell against the block, against the Hex by the Lich. Goes down in the end. So we're working super hard for this one. Perhaps now the game is finally his to be taken. Expansion lays open. And Happy's gonna call it G G G G. Finally. Sowin gets on the board just like Lawlight earlier on map four. He manages the win against Happy. Had to dig deep for this one. But finally he gets it. That was super close, dude. Oof. That was a really big deal. And I think a lot of that game also came down to the very early stages. For once, Happy loses two ghouls in the early game and only trades one single headhunter for it. Normally, Happy's early game is too perfect to allow for something like that. And he will not fall behind. But here, because he lost the ghouls, I think he did fall behind. Especially on Turtle Rock. If you want to creep efficiently in the mid game, you have to have a lot of ghouls. And losing these two really hurt him. All right, we're getting ready now for map number five. This is going to be Tight Hunters. Very much unlike Turtle Rock on Tight Hunters, there's tons of camps you can creep always quite easily just with a handful of ghouls or a handful of headhunters. You're going to be much less limited in creeping if you lose a couple of units early. And here we go. How far can Soin take this comeback? Can he still perhaps bring it all the way? Could he beat Happy here in the reverse sweep? That would be pretty crazy. Hard to imagine. But even just the map score could be relevant at the end of the season. Of course, most important are the wins per series. But after that, the map score is going to be relevant. And right now, Soin only is 2-6 and six in terms of uh, series wins. Almost the same as Chimiko right now, who's 2-5. and five. I have to get a bit of water. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Pretty standard openings here. Once again. Let's see what the creep route's gonna be. Happy again. Selling the TP. As he always does. This time, by the way, no scouting acolyte. We saw scouting acolyte here almost all the time. Not this time around. Ring of Protection. Not the start that Happy's hoping for. Not the most lucky with the drops so far, but I mean, only the first camp, of course. Are under 
Might be gonna get the fast level 2 here, but so will the Farseer. And now it's the claws for Happy. That's exactly what he wants. When does he get the level 2? Now, finally. Alright, and with that, the Farseer can try to get some kills here, either on the Ghouls or on the Murlocs. There we go. Got one right there. And sending back the Headhunters already very high efficiency play by Soen. Always getting something valuable done with a Farseer, with the units. With creeping, with harassing, looking good so far. Happy could just creep the shop now, I guess. It's also kind of cool. The DK bullying away the Farseer. And the Ghouls getting ready in position at the next camp. It's not quite enough for level 3, I think, but it's going to be very close. Wait, is it enough? I don't think it is, right? Oh! What experience! Well, one point of experience missing. That means this Murloc was a big deal. Oh, but the DK is coming in, ready to harass. Instantly locks in that surround. So in just not looking for a second. Oh, but he's got the cloak. Happy's gonna send something to the lab. Not really. Oh, the DK. Almost got the last hit steal right there. That's Fazia level 3. Can fight against the ghouls now. Wait a minute. Happy has the reveal. Loses the ghoul, but forces the TP. Oh, and got that Berserker just a millisecond before. So that's certainly favored Happy. Gets two Berserkers. And the TP. Trades it for only a ghoul. Oh, and he gets the consumable here. That's huge. But also buy a circuit if he has the gold, which though he doesn't really at the moment. One of mana stealing. Pretty good. A player's forces are under attack. Shut on a second once more. We also see the Dark Ranger. Happy's looking for his opponent. Trying to find him with the Wand of Illusion. He had lots of scouting, but not enough. Oh, someone is managing to dodge him very well. The wolf also giving excellent info here. I think now Happy figured out what was going on, but figured it out a bit too late. Oh, one headhunter in coil range. Happy gets that one. And again, the headhunters in trouble. Like we've seen so many times before, there one more goes down. Using the speed scroll to try to get the ghoul. Which he will. Oh, and maybe even a second. Happy they're missing the block against the Shadow Hunter. Bit of a mistake. That's a hex, that's a kill. Oh! Where is it though? One of mana stealing here, helping against the shadow. Reducing his mana. And the ghoul also seems to survive, and we have a lot of ghouls still left over. This is more looking like a normal happy game again. This is looking a bit rough once more for Soen. But he's got the faster tech. Oh, wait. Not even really, though. This time the tech is basically exactly the same. So he needs to get up these levels fast. On Turtle Rock, the one map he won, this is where Soin had amazing levels in the end to carry him through. But here it's a different story. The Farseer is looking good with level 3. Three and a half, actually. But the Shadowner needs to catch up quick.
creep here by Happy. I'm gonna pick up the big consumable. Book of the Dead. Always nice against Berserkers. Because there's no this oh, One ghoul gonna go down. Might be two ghouls going down. And a third! Oh, damn! Sick Creepjack by Soen. Picking off these ghouls before the frenzy timing is huge. And Happy getting punished for a pretty greedy creep. Some good denies there as well, but most importantly, the ghouls are dead. That's big. This puts Soen in the lead, I think. Happy though, certainly far from out of this. And the Dark Ranger, by the way, she got a couple of kills on the Berserkers or the Headhunters in the video game, but uh, didn't get to level 3 too easily at all. Talisman, again, pretty bad item. But here comes the TC, can pick up some good experience here right away. Oh, and Happy gonna try to force a fight this time with low levels. He gets close to 4, but the Dark Ranger is so far away from level 3. If the Shadow gets level 3 here, this could be a great fight for him. Found the big mana potion as well. Uh, these items can also be a big help. TC picks it up. Ring of Regen, not bad for him at all. He's getting poked at. He's taking quite a bit of damage here. I think I like Soen's position. He's close to triple level up here. If he creeps the lab, he's gonna have triple level up, indeed. DK gets to level 4. That's also a big one, of course. And still has the Book of the Dead ready. This in the right position could be very tough to deal with for the Berserkers. Pulling over, long range, double silence! Oh, hits them both and almost gets to surround the Shadowhunter as well. Quite a few Berserkers going down instantly. The Nova follow-up damage slows down the Berserkers on the way to retreat. They're trying to fall back. They have the level 1 aura from the TC at least. He's almost getting surrounded. Speed scroll needed. And so it backs off. He didn't have the level 3 Shadow Hunter yet. Perhaps a bit too overeager to not creep this camp first here for Soen before going into the fight. Happy, of course, now wants to take a battle. He's got the skellies from the Dark Ranger, and he's got the Book of the Dead. This is where he wants to strike right now, and probably also he knows that the Scroll of the Beasts, or Scroll of Speeds, have been used up. Don't tell me the skelly gets this creep. No. So he gets the experience. That's level 3, at long last. The item's very bad, the Scourge Bone Chimes, but the experience was worth it. Shop taken out right away, the burrow in trouble as well, the lich in the back by the way, very exposed. The other one lich is super squishy. But so is not trying to go for the kill, he's going for the ghouls once again, they are going down quite fast. Coil misses. Ghoul goes down before, that's more kills going to the docket of Soen. Dark Ranger looking for more kills, Nova in the back once again. But it's only level 1 lich, doesn't even have level 1 dark ritual. But still so many skellies in the mix, this book of the dead has been absolutely amazing for Happy, perhaps the game winning item. The Book of the Dead, but it's not over yet. Supplies are very even, the, supply, the borrow didn't fall. And Happy doesn't have a TP, by the way, here, to get out. Shadowhunter face tanking a lot of the damage here, but he's got the heat wave. Now the Lich is in trouble. Lich could be killed, perhaps. But there's not much mana left on the orc side. Takes out the one wolf, that's also level 2 for the Lich. Big level up there. And look at how low experience the Dark Ranger is. She's still so far away from level 3. Somehow Happy's creeping this time in the mid-game seems to have been a lot worse. One more ghoul falls. And the dust settles, and it's kind of even. Oh, but guess what I didn't see this whole time. Soren didn't see it either. Of course, he was busy fighting. But Happy has managed to set up an expansion behind all of this. Are Soen's levels good enough to again kill the Expo? Not so sure about that. The TC especially, not even level 3 yet. Farseer creeping this camp seems like a bit of waste, experience-wise. Farseer isn't exactly the hero here that needs the experience, although level 3 Chain Lightning all earlier looked pretty good. 
Happy finds the scroll of the beast here. Not a good item for him. But he gets level 3 Dark Ranger, and that's the big one that he needed for so long. So in taking his time, taking the red cam. I don't think he scouted this expansion yet. But he may be able to tell anyways. Should be level 3 TC. That's gonna be a big level up. Yep, he can buy a TP here and go for the counterattack if he wants. But no, buys a field scroll and a circlet for the lich. Also in the battle drums, the item here that was found, not too helpful, but it's level 3 TC. That is. Quite a few destroyers getting morphed. And then we go. Coilnova finds the first kill right away. The TC stomps need to be big. Scroll the beast use. Invo potion breaks the silence. And it's a very nice stomp there to start things off. Destroyers though still mostly untouched. The one wyvern so far hasn't been looking too sick, but it's three attack upgrades on the wyvern and the berserkers. Pass you in trouble now. The cloak can't protect him anymore. The stomp though trying to cover the retreat and the hex as well. To prevent the coil. That was very nice. But now the man on the orc side is very low indeed. The TC has one more stomp. Needs to be big. Hits into the front line. Hits the ghoul and the skelly. Wouldn't exactly call that too big. And Happy's finding more and more kills. Aggressive coil comes in. Frees the ghoul from the Kodo. And that's Happy taking a huge supply lead. High tempo aggressive play on tier 3. Behind which he expanded. And now he can make use of all these resources. Finally fully mining. The Nova in the back is devastating. There's more Berserkers falling, and that must be the game going to Happy. Indeed it is. GG is called. And Happy wins his series today in the Adobe Ancient of Wonders Cup. This is his eighth win in a row. And he continues to stand at the very top of the standings. This makes it very likely that Happy will beat 1-0 in the race for first place. It's only 1-0 or Happy who can take first place still. Unless 1-0 utterly destroys Happy on Playday 23. That will be the day after tomorrow. Alright, and with that, our first two series of the day are over. We have one more to go, and that's going to be everyone's favorite, Night Elf Mirror. Hell yeah. Can't wait for that one. Kaho versus Colorful coming up. We go into one last break, and then we'll be right back with one more Elf Mirror for the day.